Okay, audio check, quick check. One bird check.
Hello, good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Okay. Um, we had Luigi, Cokes, Mac, and Hacker in the Just Started Suit screen. Welcome. Thank you guys for chatting. Um, I changed my frame rate settings a teensy bit. So hopefully... Like, I know audio should be synced and shit, but hopefully it looks a bit smoother. Because I was going 80 frames per second, but now it's at 60. For some reason, I had it on 80. I don't know why. So, everything should look a bit more in real time. I don't I don't know if people will notice. Because, like, I was watching back the VODs and there's, like, a teensiest bit of, like, desync. But I, I, I literally don't care. <laughs> Cause like, the re Cause like, I was reading these articles when I initially started streaming and said, Oh, if you have a capture card for your DSLR, you should put it in 80 frames per second because it affects like your processor speed or some shit. But, I don't know. So right now we're doing 60 frames per second. Hopefully it looks a bit better. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, chatters, you guys know the drill. We're playing freaking Fall Guys today. If I win, I give chat a sub, and then chat will also can screw me over and rig the predictions by either subscribing, sharing, or donating to the channel, and I will automatically respawn. But before we get started, some of you guys know we officially announced it yesterday, but we are doing our monthly um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Tournament on this Sunday, September 25th at 11 a.m. Lobbies will be open from 11 to 12 a.m. Or p 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. I guess. So top three get VIP as usual. But stream will start at 10, so make sure you're here at 10. That way you can practice in the lobby and get in the queue right away. Um, I think it's a, oh the only thing is that it's bananas only. We're trying out different game. I think we're just basically gonna do every single game mode there is until we can do like team game modes. So yeah, chatter chatters. It'll be on Sunday. Everybody better be there. It's mandatory attendance. So if you don't, if you aren't there, then you're me. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be this Sunday. Um, let's see what else. What else? I don't think there's anything else really. But as you guys know, I am going to launch a second art channel. It's probably. Ruh -ruh, what was that? <laughs> but we're gonna start streams on. Whoa, it's back. Whoa, that was a wild. Oh, the game fucked up. Wait, hold. Oh, the game's gone. Uh-oh. Be there, be square. Exactly. Uh-oh. Wait, hold. Oh, no. The game fucked up. Yeah, because the Fall Guys music isn't playing. Rut row. I do mio. Wait, chatters, hold. I'm troubleshooting. Hey, it's back? Hey, yo? Okay, it's back. I don't know why the fuck it glitched out. Anyway, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, we're launching the art channel. Streams are probably gonna start in early October because I'm waiting for, um... So basically, I have everything. I have gesso, I have varnish, I have paint, I got brushes. I've had brushes. But I, d I just need canvases now. So those are coming in the mail soon. So the art channel is launching beginning of October. So everybody, if you could politely go follow that channel, I'd appreciate it. Um, I think that's actually it now. Let's play the goddamn game. I haven't <laughs> I've noticed that I'm only playing Fall Guys on stream now, because I keep on forgetting. Let's see. I think we can still play the- wait, should we do regular solos or should we, should we do the 3 2 one space modes? Hmm. Wait, there's only 14 hours left? Okay, then I guess we have to play it. Okay, you guys know the drill. We're gonna be doing predictions every single round. Or if I will qualify or not. <laughs> Why isn't it working? Enemy chatters go gamma. Do you think I will qualify for the first round of our first game of the day?
Sorry, I'm answering a quick text. I'm not a um, um, megaphone streamer. Okay, we're good. No more song. Space Race. I think this one is still my favorite of the newer levels, honestly. <laughs> we only have 10 points in doubt? Guys are so mean. I'm good at Fall Guys. I'm so good at this game. I'm talking really- why am I talking so loud? I'm sorry. Okay, trick is you go to the side, because everybody's gonna speed run to the center. Oh, I almost had it. It wasn't as good of a run, but it's okay. You know, I've never played Shovel Knight, but I really want the Shovel Knight skin. No, wait, I have played Shovel Knight. I forgot. No! Shit. I have played Shovel Knight. I just forgot that I played it. I barely got past the first level. I mean, I think that was like... Two years ago, I played on my own. I'll have to come back to it at some point. I made the same mistake. Did I ever get a win off stream? Um, I'm trying to think. I think I've gone like one or two crowns off stream, but I don't play off stream as much anymore. Because I only really want to play when my sister wants to play, because we like watching each other. So I haven't played offline in a while. But I've gotten a good handful. I think I've gotten like a total of five or six solo wins, maybe. But majority have been on stream. But if I if I ever do get a win on stream, I always clip it and then show you guys. That way I can be like, you know, I'm not that bad at Fall Guys. Oh, we're out of time! Fuck! I forgot it was timed! Oh, my team hard carried. Everybody else had finished already. Damn. Am I gonna get carried today? I mean, I don't mind it. It's fine. Screw the doubters, honestly. Okay, next prediction is up, go Gamba guys. Oh my god, yesterday? I was on hold for two hours. Two fucking hours. Because the um the government assistant line is only open from 8 to 5, so like immediately when I ended the stream, I immediately like got on hold. Like called and got on hold so I can get into the queue. I was on hold for two hours, and then I got kicked at 5. It was a sad day. So I had to call again right at 8 today. But thankfully I got in the queue fast enough, so I was able to be helped. Oh, I wasn't even trying and I scored a point! <laughs> I see one. Come on! Oh my god, I'm literally DUM. Oh, can I not get back up? Hmm. Anyway, as I was hold as I was on hold for two hours yesterday, one of the songs that played was an instrumental version of Passion Fruit by Drake. And I remember I was listening to it, I was like, what is it? I was like, this sounds so familiar. I was like, oh, that's what it is. It was weird. Hey, yo. <gasps> I see one. Oh, dude, I died when I shouldn't have died. I yoinked it from him. So evil. 
Shit. Oh! I guess my team carried again. You know, I don't mind that. Aw, oh, the other teams are struggling. 10 to 12? Damn. I mean, I don't have to worry about that. Not my problem. If we get a win in this game mode as well, it still counts as a win. Because I think I'll put the 3 2 1. What is it called? 3 2 1 space or some shit? I'll, I'll keep it in our queue until, we, until our squad is able to win. Because that's the same stakes we had last week. I feel like that's fair. And my new prediction is up for Gambit Chatters. Okay, I genuinely hope people have improved their skill in a week. Because either people will work together or just at best minigame? No! Okay, slash J, good. I was like, you're literally trolling. Oh wait, I'm wrong. Fuck. No! Bruh! What are you doing? Oh my god. This freaking jackass. Stop! Wait, what's wrong now? What? Did someone fuck that one up too? Oh. I don't know. Oh, come on, come on. Yo. Oh, come on. Our team's doing great. We're doing good. Oh, it's a sword. I think they got it. I think I can sit back. I think they got it. Oh no. It's too late, it's too late. Dude, if I would have maybe helped... The one guy with like the floaty threw. They threw. I mean, would it have been better if I would have helped? I don't know.
Because, like, if you're not in, like, a VC, then it's kind of hard to, like, communicate. Damn. Well, I guess partially my fault for not helping technically, but... I don't know. Damn. I thought we could get a win on the first try! Sad. Okay, let's go again. People that qualified are probably in voice chat. Yeah. He's like, I would play games with people, but I don't have anyone to play with. And it's also like, I'm too scared to ask people, you know? Is there local co-op on Fall Guys? I don't think so, right? Because whenever I play with my sister, we, we can't play together. I mean, I guess we could, because she has the PlayStation in her room and then I have the Switch. But if we're playing with her friend, only one of us can play at a time. Learning space mode again. I mean, wouldn't it make the win even better if our squad won without being in a BC? Hmm. Also chatters. I finally got the nine month subscriber badge in chat. Cause like you know how the sub badges are like seeds and sprouts? Mine is finally a flower. Isn't that so cute? I noticed it this morning because that means I've officially been an affiliate for nine months. Cause I think it was January. But I saw it this morning, I was like, oh my god, finally. Oh, why is it going left this time? Oh, I almost had it. Good run. Wait, did one of my squad members leave? Wait, look. There's an X on the top right. Saved? Yeah, because I know like when you do multiplayer you can make like a, a private squad. But I mean like local co-op. Like can I play with like two pro controllers on the same switch? I don't think they have that yet, right? I mean, it'd be probably hard to see two different POVs at the same time. I thought this route was the highest badge. No. It's far from it. Sorry, there was liter liter <laughs> there was nothing there. Literally nothing. What the freak? I'm really mad. Am I gonna have to hard carry? Okay, one person qualified. Huh? Why didn't it launch me far enough? I think it's rigged. Okay, okay I'm not I'm not making it. It's no way, no way. See, the hitboxes aren't accurate! They're not even fucking accurate! And one of our squad members left! Hmm! It's not fair!
I'm gonna go home, cry dad. Peace out to L. <laughs> yeah, let's go again. I, pr I promise you, we're gonna get a dub today. Sub expires in two hours? Damn. Well, you know we can do the fix that. We can sub for me with Prime. Easy. It's also September, meaning all new subs are 20% off. <clears throat> okay, seems like today is just gonna be the space mode, which is fine. Because, you know, I gotta practice him. I have these two long strings on my shirt. They're like a foot and a half long. See? Am I supposed to like trim it? Because it's got like, it's tied here in the front because it's artsy. But am I supposed to like tie a bow and then cut it? I don't know why they're so long. It's like my whole like arm span almost. That was bad. Okay, I kept on pressing A instead of B by accident. So that was totally my fault. didn't fall off. You guys saw that, right? I think I'm getting scammed. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm solved now. There we go. We're in fourth. Oh, yeah. Fourth place. Okay, we're good. We're good now. I didn't... I wasn't too much <laughs> dead weight on our team that time. this one and then our last guy just camped at the star oh my god hopefully that does not happen again thank you for the hack or thank you for the lurk hacker i appreciate it okay let's hope our teammates aren't brain dead this time I'll have you in my ear. Should I do ASMR? <laughs> oh, I 
almost fell. Yes! We're in third. Easy. Oh, what's our guy doing? What are they doing? You're so far. Okay, they're not that far away. Okay, I like this level a lot more than Tiptoe. We're in, boys. Avoid falling off the hoverboard to reach the oh no, the last time we played this one was horrible. Well, I kinda know what to expect, so I think it'll be fine. Hopefully, maybe. I mean, all we need, cause I think the last time this one came up, there was only like three people left. So we just have to hope one of our guys wins. Which will be me, obviously. Dude, they fell off. They were trying to speed run. Didn't work. I mean, I guess what they, that's what they get for trying to look cool. Oh shit, it launches you. Okay, I'm doing a lot better than last time. Oh god. He saved. I'm doing I'm doing surprisingly well. So don't grab me. Hexagon pass, okay. So they, they kind of know what they're doing then. Don't! Sad. Only five left? Why isn't this like the final round? Why isn't this the final stage? This one honestly is a lot harder, or rather it seems harder than the hexagon one. If I was the last squad member standing, I'd succeed either, so I can't give him too much luck. Well, that was still good, a good round. Let's go again.
I cannot start until, or I cannot wait until I start painting. I've been so excited. Cause like, I've been itching to make something. And for the longest time I've been shying away from bigger projects. So that's why like I didn't start painting like years ago, but I'm like genuinely so excited I think the reason why I was so like scared of painting is that the standard is like nicely rendered like realism or like I guess semi-realism but since a lot of my work is like abstract or geometric it'd be like a lot more simplistic but it'd be more focused on like the actual design so I think I've finally gotten over the hurdle of not comparing my skill to others. Oh, I'll make a sketch card? Yes! I've been waiting for someone for, to redeem that. But thank you, Mac. We'll do that after Fall Guys today. Yeah. Ooh, I hear dogs fighting outside. Cool. Wait, is this regular solos? Fuck! <laughs> I forgot. I wasn't concentrating. Oopsie. <laughs> Damn. I was still in squad mode. I was like, oh, if I lose, it'll be fine. But it's not fine. <laughs> I think I just want to do regular solos for now. We can maybe do a bit more space stuff later, but I kind of want to just... I want to get real wind, you know? I want to get a real dub. Okay, now I need to think of what I want to do for the sketch card later. Hmm. Because I think what I can also do for the paintings is, like, I can make more stencils. Because I like the idea of, like, the repeating patterns. Because one of my mom, she did a lot of like, what would you call it? I guess collage and like decoupaging, which is the concept of like using like cutout images or like newspaper images to make like a collage or like a somewhat cohesive piece. So she was really into that a few years ago. And then she used a lot of stencils, so she had me make a lot of like stenciled patterns and designs. Essentially, the concept for the painting is gonna be like an elevated version of the sketch cards we do on stream. I deserve that. <laughs> that was totally my doing. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm solid. I'm set. Number 
I think either later today or tomorrow, I'm gonna have to test out all the different supplies I got because I got my mica powders, my varnishes in the mail the other day. So I need to like do swatches and stuff. Has different like ratios and such. Anyway, new Gamba is up. It's so hard to think of things to talk about when I'm playing Fall Guys. Because, like, I, I genuinely want to focus and win, you know? I got pushed! I should wait? Get back on track. Oh, it's anti gravity. Top 10? That was silly. I should have waited. There's no anti gravity there. Kind of not fair. Oh, it's only in, like the center. It's kind of silly. Oh! What? I didn't jump far enough. This might be the end. That was my fault. I made too many silly mistakes. I was too rash. I should have been more patient. You know, I own up to my mistakes. I don't... I don't push the blame unless... Unless it's funny.
Okay, good run. This is a great run so far. I love channel points. We love to hear that. Welcome in, Titans. Hope you're doing well today. Man, I got four. That was a great run. I use because usually people go down the right path. But, you know, left is the way to go, apparently. <clears throat> I was thinking about it. And I know fall is my favorite season because I like when it's a bit chilly, but I went out for my bike ride this morning with shorts on and I came back and my legs were red because it was too fucking cold. Because <laughs> it's one of those things where like you step outside and you don't want to go back in and change. You're like, ah, I can handle it. Or like when you wear capris and it's pouring outside, you're like, I don't need to wear pants. I think my favorite thing going on the bike rides though is since the leaves are starting to fall, I play like a little game to where I try and run over like every single leaf I see. It's 90? Huh? That's global warming for you, am I right? <laughs> I mean, I'm in Washington, so it's always fucking cold here. Okay, this one I gotta go quick, cause like, I'm decent at this track, but it's a matter of like, getting done in time. I gotta be quick, 2k in doubt! It's kinda rude. Any believers? Please believers? I'm gonna actually speedrun. Spawn in the front, good RNG. coming towards us now. Interesting. I bet if you jumped on them, you can launch forward. Oh, I was so close to getting, like, top three! Oh, no. No! No fucking way! Oh, my God. So close. <laughs> I was robbed. Cause I I know it's better to go down like the far left or the far right side of the slime climb thing. But then everybody goes that way. Devastating career ending loss right there. 
I keep snickering. Whatever, you got a hundred points. Wow. <laughs> I bet you feel good about yourself, huh? Man, believers could have eaten good right there. I mean, uh, up a hundred from 2k, that's what. A 5% increase? Decent, I guess. My 100 coins! No! At least it was just 100. That's why chatters, if you're gonna gamba, gamba small. Getting big wins is gonna get you hooked. It's not worth it. Only gamba we you can afford. That goes with real gambling, too. Only spend what you can afford to lose. No big win like I do. You only win big if you bait believers into gambiting big. been a good run so far. No! no! Okay, at least I spawn here. Hey, yo? <laughs> yeah, that's not the way to go. Okay, 21 out of 42. I should be fine. Hey, yo? It's just my glasses are crooked now, it bothers me. I think it's because I wear my headset so much. Why does the mu music cut out sooner now? It's off-putting. Because it does like the, the drum snare and then it cuts it off. Ooh, easy, see so. No way I lose here. You hate this one so much, really? I think as long as you try and stay in the center, you're fine. You just, I mean, once you fall behind, like once you get towards the back of the pack, it's kind of hard to catch up. That's the only demerit. See, right here, right here. Now I'm gonna get screwed. Matter of people don't know how seesaws work, I think they're just so egocentric to think that it'll work for them. 
Oh my god. See, they're literally DLM. Oh, it should work for me. It should work for me. Oh, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Horrible decision on my part. I was one of the selfish ones. Okay, I just have to hope everyone falls off. <laughs> Damn. I took, I took too many L's. You know what else is gonna take a good handful of L's? Non-subs, because chatters, we are an hour in the stream. It's time for me to run a few minutes of ads, but you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch, you can get a free Prime sub every month. Chatters, you hear that? It's free. See if you have a Prime sub available, guys. After that, we're gonna do a bit more Fall Guys because I, I need to get a dub today. I need it. I need it. So, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I mean, you know, I could say I lost on purpose. That way, non-subs will not miss anything, but I was tryharding. I think today, since Mac redeemed, I'll make a sketch card. I think we'll do two hours of Fall Guys, you laugh, you lose, and then the sketch card. That way we'll probably still hit the three hour uptime mark today. I think that's what we'll do. <clears throat> I think it's so funny. Everybody's throwing the blast balls, trying to sabotage each other. I'm tempted, but you know, I'm gonna play nice today. Way too close. I was too close for comfort.
Ooh, I'm so good at this one. I think I can get top three. Easy. Damn fan. It's so freaking unfair. Oh, Ao. I think we're gonna have to go with this strat today. These guys farming too? The only problem is that it's not nearly as fast enough. Not looking good. Twenty more percent. <sighs> they changed the lily pad to get to that turntable section. It's different now. Damn. Should I just make a new account? That way I can play with all the new people. That way I can feel like I'm good at the game again. Should I just play on my sister's account? <laughs> You love the shirt? Thank you. It's pretty cool. It's got like little tassels on it. Oh, wait. It's got like tassels. It's edgy. Hi, Asley. Welcome in. Watch some Fall Megans. You know, I haven't gotten a dub yet, but I'm going to. I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna try. There's so many- it's like, so many difficult levels today. Just give me the easy ones. Please.
The one thing I don't like about how college assignments are, like, weighted is if you, like, score, like, a 90% on a big project, it could, like, tank your whole grade. It's absolute bullshit. Oh, what? Flip? Oh, damn it. Yo. Coding is fun and good and based. I can never understand coding. I watched a few people like practice coding on stream. It's just something I can never get. Cause like, in order for me to understand something, it needs to be like very structured. I think the the best way I can equate it to it's some like you know the cliche joke where like the math lesson we taught in class and then the questions on the test are incredibly hard. It's because you have to apply. No, it is, guys. I know it is structured, but I I don't. <laughs> I'm not good at like thinking outside the box, so it's kind of like. I don't know. I don't know. I just I can't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> you guys don't understand me. <laughs> It just seems like the applications and what you the, like the more simplistic things you can learn considering coding and when you try to apply them to more like complex situations I don't understand because in my head I'm like that's not like the example the teacher gave or that I learned <gasps> oh dude that was way too <laughs> Maybe I'm just DOM. I think just coding is not for me. You know, I don't want to be a STEM lord. I'm already a debate lord. Can't add that to the list. Hey, yo. Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. I went flying. I knew that would happen! Frick. Motherfucker, they're waiting for me. They're waiting for me. I don't like them. Yeah, I love seeing when they try and taunt and then they get cut off and then they get eliminated. I think that's the best feeling in the world to watch them suffer after making other people feel bad and suffer. But to happen to me? Unacceptable. Man, I don't think I've even gotten to a third round today. Hmm. But we're still gonna get it done. We're gonna do it. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> Let them burn in the fiery depths of starting over. Exactly.
Did you guys hear that pop? That was my shoulder. I'm out. <laughs> 100 points in doubt? Come on. We need some believers. Okay, honestly, I would have doubted on this one too because I haven't played this level too much. Guess who? I assume you. Resident Doubter. You probably doubt more than Rady in my chat room. I'm a daughter. I'm a daughter IRL. It's my nature. See, I'm a huge cynic too, but I like to have faith and believe in people sometimes. Okay, let's hope it's not nearly as laggy as last week. Okay, it still really is. That part was easy. Dude, it's legitimately so laggy. You doing good? We should have had at least one believer. Damn. You guys missed the chance. That was a good run, though. That was a really good run. I only fell off what, once? I say that's solid improvement. Solid. You know, I'm not an F U R Y, but that polar bear costume is kind of cute. Only because the eyes are cute. Because look at it. It looks like it's got some winged eyeliner. Oh, what? You know what I said. Alright, it's F-U-R-R-Y. I forgot another R. If you can't spell, then you better go back to elementary, dude. We're learning how to code, but can't spell SMH. I'm gonna try hard. Because I know I can do well on this level.
Okay, good run, good run. What? How did I fall off? Dude, that was gonna be top fucking 10. That was not fair at all. I'll take it. I still got fucking 10. Oh my god. <laughs> you never played any of these levels? Yeah, because season 2 started last week. These are all the new ones. Damn. I mean, I still got top 10. Still top 33%. Ugh, I got robbed of top 5, though. But I guess it was my own fault, maybe? You know what they say, when you're standing on, like, a hillside, you're supposed to spread your feet out, I think, right? Or, like, stagger your feet on the hill. Which I guess it didn't do, so that's why I fell off. But you know what, it's fine, we've finally gone to a third round. I think this run is the run, this has to be the run. Please. Nobody better ruin this for me. I'll be very sad. Oh, I haven't played this one too often, but I don't think this one's that bad. It's kind of cool how it showed the whole course. Oh, no! Okay, good run. I think I'm doing well at least. I hope so. Oh no, this is not good. Oh frick, Th this is bad. I was scared, I was scared. Hi, welcome in, Emmy. Hope you're doing well today, hon. Yeah, I was scared. I was scared. I was way too scared. But you know what? I made it. Two more rounds left. Fun, please. This might actually be the run. I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> Jake S. <laughs> Please don't be tail tag. No tail tag. I'm not good at this one. 
I've only played it once. It's just that it's just like the other hoverboard space one. It's it's not good. But if everybody falls off, I could win. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. I think I got close to the end on one of these. Projectiles. Slime blow looked just like the petal, so I fell off because I got confused. Yeah, that's a pretty good run, too. Am I just never gonna win again? <laughs> I left you with a silver tab, and all I hear is oh. <laughs> Do be like that. Break it. Well, we got 30 more minutes to get a dub, guys. I think I can do it. I I think I can do it. If Emmy, if Emmy's still in chat, I don't know if she's been in here when I plugged it, but I'm launching a new art channel next month. You should go check it out, Emmy. Because Emmy does art too. I think the last art stream she did, she did a stamp covering stream. That was cool. I want to get into like printing again, but the, the actual like material, like it's a rubber block that you carve out of. It's somewhat, it's kind of expensive, so. I think it'd be fun making illustrations for stamps, though. Because I used to carve stamps myself, but I never made the illustrations myself. That's why you don't see me post about it. Because I don't like the idea of using somebody else's image if it's not yours. Have we gotten any jungle levels today? I don't think so. This is a bummer. I'm pretty decent at the jungle ones. Progress has been made. Good. You better be studying. <laughs> One sub equals passing grade. Yeah, chatter, subscribe so Matt can pass their exams. <laughs> Wait, subscribe so I can pass my own exams. <laughs> He saw the fast right there. <laughs> oh. So it's the money that made me fail. I mean, how many students like brag their teachers, do you think? Like, if you're rich, you're rich, why would you not bribe people, right? Not say that I support bribery, but I'm just saying, like, it's an option. 
<laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I would never do such a thing. Again, after promoting bad things, don't do it. But I'll laugh at you do if you do. I mean, exactly. Because I feel like for most any situation, it's circumstantial, depending on like what the act was and who had responsibility. But I feel like, uh, like I said, it depends on what the situation is. Not everything is black and white. I think that's something that people need to realize. Because there's public responsibility and then personal responsibility. With most any situation. Because there's always immediate circumstances that contribute to like the individual's actions and also environmental circumstances. Like the place they live and how they grew up. That causes them to make said decisions. You can't just announce one's behavior. Based on just one type of circumstance. There's so many layers. Oh my god, good run. Dude, great run. We kind of screwed over on <laughs> we kind of screwed over everyone behind us. But you know what? That's fine. We're playing to win. We're getting a crown today. Under any circumstance. Oh, they fell off. They got ratioed. <laughs> Dude, I'm in the lead. Oh wait, actually I'm not. I thought I was. at the start I was gonna be like top three guaranteed like I got third that was a good run that was a great run actually we should have timed that damn okay I know I said the last one was gonna be the run but this one has to be <laughs> no way I lose here oh I didn't even realize there was this upper path what Oh. It seems like it could totally fuck up that jump, though. I'm gonna put you back here. So I guess the path isn't really worth it, seems. Hmm.
I don't know. I used to have a good strap for this one, but it doesn't work anymore. I think they updated the Rhino UI. So I can't, like, debate as much anymore. Doing pretty good. Rejuking like a pro. Dude, this round's going for so long. Heart is racing. Hexagons, and then I jumped wrong. Uh, how many people are left? There's gotta be like four or five, right? No fucking way. Okay, I just want to see what round I get. That was crazy. Damn, I was so close. Ah, we don't need to watch this. Like, this usually goes on for a while, so... Damn. Maybe if I would have qualified, I could have won. Because jump showdown isn't that bad. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. We'll get him next time. Hi, baddie. People, hey. Welcome in, hun. We're pretty well today. <laughs> Based? Why is it based? <laughs> based that I'd win? I was doing pretty good on that round around though. I was I was juking. Oh my god, we actually have a believer this time? Thank you for adding my at all up. But yeah, of course. We usually do the... Um, for chatters who don't know, anybody who donates to the channel or subscribes, they get their name written with calligraphy at the end of stream. But I'm glad you like it, baddie. Man, majority doubters. Sag. <laughs> Cause I know I know it's late for you, Batty, so you usually don't get to stay for that part, but I'm glad you liked it, man. Ooh. There's a hammer in the front. Did you see that? Or near the end rather, not near the front. I don't think it'd be worth to go for the hammer skip though. Because they're kind of unpredictable on how far they launch you. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, let's wait. We're gonna hold. Oh, 
No, I was just gonna say I have this run in the bag. Break. Hi, hacker. Welcome back. So I'm really mad. People are being DOM. They're being so selfish, thinking the seesaw will work for them, but it's not going to. See, look, they're literally DOM. <gasps> oh my god! Thank you for that gifted sub, Mac. I appreciate you. You're gonna get your name written in the journal. But thank you. Now hacker doesn't have to spend their channel points. Cool. <laughs> I just picture you guys screaming at each other. Welcome in, Crystal. Fa Sorry, Frick. Why didn't you fall off? Because I'm so cool. I, I still have a chance. There's only 20 people who have qualified. Oh, I'm, I'm not that far from the end. Okay, I'm actually fine. I'm actually a-okay. Please I do swear jar. We're not gonna do another cursing stream. Cause I don't wanna go broke again. Oh look at this guy! <gasps> dab again, come on, dab again. Hey yo! <laughs> that was cool. I didn't know there was a dabbing emote. Side to dab. Did I qualify? Yes, I did. Screw the doubters. Believers one for once. The I'm not allowed to say this word stream was so funny. Dude, that was devastating. That was so bad. I mean, it was a good stream. I agree. It was funny. But I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> or maybe we could do it again. But with a different type of steak. Because gifting subs, that's too expensive. Too expensive. One day your doubting shall prevail. I feel like you've gotten some pretty good wins from doubting. But I think this is gonna be the run. We've had two pretty decent runs in a row. I think this one's also gonna be pretty good. Game mode. Only mode. Okay. Get fucked. So at 12.50, you guys will be free once again. <laughs> Imagine not being able to talk. I know, right? Crazy. Who knew? Yeah, that VIP badge is pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, I was so close. I got boomed right at the end. A dub, please. This could be it. This could be it. <clears throat> I needed to be the one. We, I think I haven't won a crown in like a month, which is pretty disappointing. Not this one again. They always throw like a crazy hard one in the middle. Why do they do this to me? I swear the game hates me. Or maybe I hate the game, I don't know which one. Dude, is like anyone able to beat this one?
isn't that what I want? Okay, we're not gonna make the same mistake. Oh no! Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm saved. Oh, I thought I could bounce on there. Okay, well, I was stuck there either way. Because I was like stuck under. Oh, this guy is screwed. It's too late. They're too far behind. Yeah, there's no way for them to catch up. Damn. Mine. Just give me like the classic Fall Guy levels and then I'll win. It'll be easy dub. But I'm not getting any. Or it's not that I'm not getting any, it's just I'm not getting enough. So I can't get enough to win. At this rate, I'll never win again. I think I've peaked. I think I've peaked. Type one if you think I've peaked. Oh wait, you can't type one. <laughs> wait, I'm just kidding, it is 12.50. Chatter, type one if you think I've peaked. <laughs> Tried to clip and your Twitch crashed. I feel like sometimes the clip maker works and then sometimes it doesn't. <gasps> oh my god, Titan doesn't think I've peaked? Oh my god, wow. Hacker 2, you guys are too nice. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> you know, I think Titans and Hacker are just trying to get on my good side, which is cool. I appreciate that. But are you lying? I would never lie, Copium. And this is Titans right now. Both fingers crossed. I don't know if you heard that, but I ran my nail against the back of the chair. It's not busted, it's fine, but... Ooh. Like, when you know you hit something and, like, it pushes the nail back. Ooh. better with positive enforcement I mean yeah I feel like that's for everyone though like imagine your chat room is just shitting on you the whole time I don't think I'd be able to stream like I think I'd be sad all the time <laughs> that was a mistake bad. Too late. Freak. Hmm. 
It's because there was no one else on that tilt pa platform. Look at me projecting and blaming somebody else. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, let's see. We're at 150 up time. We probably got time for two more attempts, guys. Unless I win. Which, you know, we're gonna get a dub today. So it's gonna happen. Go again. could do for Fall Guys with viewers. Maybe I could tempor temporarily add people as a friend and then do squads, maybe. I don't know. But of course, that would be like a sub-only stream. Like, I would just add people and then just delete them once the stream ends. Maybe. Hmm. Peace, I, too. Hmm. I'll, I gotta think about that some more. Sad? Why are you sad? We can't even play Fall Guys on a normal stream unless we can have 10 people. So that'd be like the only solution. <laughs> oh, that was close. Because you'll remove me? No, no, no. That's not... That's not exactly what I said. I, I said I would delete, not remove. There's a big difference. <laughs> okay, this has been a decent run. Not too many hiccups. <laughs> the second stream is over, I'm out the door. What? This is unfair. How am I getting stuck there? Unfair, stuck there. Not a care. Should I rap? <laughs> okay, chatters, can somebody clip that, please? Por favor. We need more clip chimpers. Should, should I give the chatter who clips the most during the stream VIP? Hmm. Do chatters like that? Hmm. Why are you saying huh? Isn't that, isn't that like a good offer? I'm suddenly an editor. No, no, no. I mean like just clipping during the live. No, like no editing. Just like clip. Because honestly, chatters, you guys have only... <laughs> <laughs> to enable us to clip anything and everything. No, 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 no. I'll clip everything you say. That's cringe. Okay. We'll we'll talk about it more. I'm I'm just teasing. I'm putting on a fishing line. You know. It's hard to clip during homework. True.
Hmm, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Because honestly, I rely on the clips that people make for the monthly comps. So if people don't clip, then we don't get a monthly comp. Because I'm so far behind on editing VODs. Like, I'm editing Mario Kart VODs from July and then Animal Crossing from April. I clipped it. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Huh? Wait, this actually is easier. That is so much easier. Oh my god. Okay, I see. Dude, this is so much easier. Holy shit. Or maybe- Look, top 10! Maybe what we can do... Is whoever consistently clips good moments and also does clickbait titles. We'll give VIP to. Hmm, peace I too. Hmm. Because whenever I look through the clips of the month, I can see who clipped it. Maybe we can do that, chatters. What do you guys think? Handshakes? I mean, it would go into effect for maybe the rest of the month and then from this point on, maybe. Tail tag! He's <laughs> shaking. <laughs> we did a handshake emote? Like, just like a... But we'll have to film that. We'll film that during the ad break. Which is coming up soon in three minutes! So, chatters, if you don't want to see an ad, subscribe now before it runs. Oh, I have a tail, I have a tail! Okay, you guys know the strap for tail tag now. Keep your tail. Obviously. Oh! Oh! Debate? Oh, shit! Me freak. Okay, what you do? All the tail holders are camping up top, so you need to get up top. Come here, you motherfucker! Oh my god, I actually got it! Forty seconds. I didn't know there was a top on the map. Yeah, it's it was added during the season two. No! Motherfucker. No. Guys, I was doing so well. Okay, my only hope is to go up top. Assert dominance, go up top. sad. I'm really sad. You know who else is gonna be sad? Non-subs, because chatters, we are another hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch, you can hashtag sub for you with Prime every month. Guys, see if you got a Prime sub available. Click the subscription and see if you got a Prime. Um, after the ad, we're gonna do you off your moves, and then Mac redeemed, I'll make a sketch card, so we'll do that right after, so stick around. Also, since some of y'all might have to see an ad, I just uploaded a new TikTok, so go watch it, go like it, go leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. The segues I can't miss, part of the bit, part of the gag. Anyway, get some water, get a snack if you need it, we'll see some of you guys in a few. 
So stick around. Okay, I think we can film the handshake. Oh, you know what I don't like is that I'm wearing a darker shirt. I mean, it'll be fine. Yeah, cause it, would, it would look like the Meg winning. Because I'm not going to chroma key the background out. Okay, it'll be fine. Okay, so let's make the handshake. Wait, do I usually do this hand? Wait, it's your left hand, so... Should we, should we do... No, that's stupid. Like, push the glasses up? That's dumb. Okay, ready? <laughs> Wait, is deadpan funny? Okay, right. Okay, was that good? Is that good? Somebody clip that! Somebody clip that and then do... Peace I do handshake. Oh wait, I, I can watch the replay here. Okay, one more time. Sit up straight. Okay, I'm watching the replay. <laughs> I think the deadpan face is so funny. Okay, chatter, somebody clip that, please, please, please. And I'll add that tonight. Okay, anyway. Let's go ahead and get you Laffy Loose set up. Oh, I gotta finish the game, Lamau. Wait, what other emotes did I have to make? Just handshake. Oh, unless... Wait, how am I gonna do that? That can wait for another time. Okay, chatters, I'm changing my category, so politely hold. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Huh? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry, it was capturing the one the wrong thing. Oopsie. Okay, anyway. Do you guys know the rules? If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, type what in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Oh my god, is that scootish? Are you gonna jump? Don't jump! Pussy. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Dude, he probably fell on his fucking head. <laughs> Dude, it looked like it went right up his ass. I didn't laugh. Oh my god. Found the enemy. Oh, that's a hot tub. Don't chatters, don't do that. Say goodbye. Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> the toad and a mouse are that was good at AutoZone. What, dude? Look how cute he is. Oh, he's got a raccoon. This shit is squishy, bro. <gasps> Are you serious? Damn, feels bad, man. But also, hashtag can't relate. Wait, it looks like a filter. I didn't laugh. Oh my god, that was that was badass. I mean, knowing as kids, right? No, you guys would have heard me laugh. I can laugh without making sound. I'm a pro. Oh, it's an edit. I was confused. I think that was art. Dude, that thing is massive. I've never seen like a bobcat or a coyote IRL. Have you heard of this new mochi boba? It comes with mochi balls and you stick it into this creamy foam. It's super chewy and it's one of the most. That was good. I love when stitches are artsy like that. I was playing with my string and look, I ruined it. It's supposed to look like this. I was fiddling. Wait, sorry. It's supposed to look like this. Then I fit I broke it. Sorry, I'm sad. Let's watch the video. Oh, I thought that was water! I thought he was gonna drown. Deserved, honestly.
Okay, the music is nice, honestly. I hate the barking, though. I hate that. Okay, well, cool. Anybody laugh? Anybody get got? I'm still mad at myself for breaking my string. Look at it. It's a tassel now. Yeah, so many raccoons in that video. I don't know why. Okay, so Chaz, we did have Mac redeem with their channel points. I make an artist sketch card, so it's basically a two oh wrong command. Lama. It's basically a two point five by three point five sketch card. If you want to see some examples of ones we've made previously on stream. Oh, I should put them in the front. You know, I've never opened cards on stream, so I don't know how to do this. Those are some examples of works I've done. So we can go ahead and do another card right now. So let's get some music on. And I got to get my supplies out. Gotta go? Okay, no problem. We'll see you later, Crystal. Thank you for hanging out today. Oh my god, sketch card? Yes! Um, Mac redeemed with their channel points. We're gonna make an artist card right now. Let me change my title. <laughs> so stupid. Chad made me do this! Okay, let me get my art supplies about art chatters if you like the art part of stream i'm going to be launching a new separate channel just for art and painting so that'll be launching probably in the beginning of october so chatters go follow that new channel i want to hit affiliate in mouth so if everybody here who's watching right now follows that new channel i'd appreciate it it helped me out a lot um while we're waiting for me to get my supplies i did upload a new tiktok so everybody can go watch it go like it Oh, so you know how you said I got my powders in the mail? It's like little mica powder, see? See how each one has like a different subtle like color difference, I guess? So I'm going to be troubleshooting these. Or not, tr not troubleshooting, but testing. Oh, this is... This is. Oh, see, these ones are chrome. You can see how the colors shift. Let me get out of here. Yeah, you can see how the colors shift. And these. Well, these are more chrome ones. So I'm going to be working on these off stream. That way. I'll have enough supplies prepped for October's when we launch the actual channel. So look forward to that, Chatters. Tap one if you're excited for the art stream or the art channel. I better see lots of ones. If I don't see lots of ones, I'm going to cry. <laughs> what do you do with them? So the mica powders, um, what people, you, what I usually see is they'll either mix it directly into the paint or, um, you ever see like poly people who do like the little polymer clay like little figurines or like little statues? They like mix it on top that way it adds like a slight glimmer. It's actually pretty good because you don't need a lot of powder to get that shimmer typically. Oh shit. I have so many boxes in my room because I've been getting so many like supplies in the mail. Okay. Now I got my pens. I don't have to reorganize everything. Okay. Where's my sketchbook go? Hmm. It's shiny. I 
I lost my sketchbook. Hmm. Oh, I found it. Okay, yeah, let's get started. No stalling. Yep. Okay, so what should we do today? So this is a 2.5 by 3.5 card stock sketch card. A blank, obviously. So I think what I want to try and do today is... Let's do a quick thumbnail over here. I want to do something where, I guess, what do you call it? What's it called? The f it's like the center of a work and everything gravitates towards it. Focal point? Point access point? Anyway, so I kind of want everything to start from either top left or top right. And then I want to do like rectangular shapes filling in those sections. Something like that, I think would be cool. Wait, you guys can't see the thumbnail sketch, but that's what I'm working on. Hi, Harley, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, hun. We're doing a sketch card right now. Okay, my ruler is right here. So let's have here. Should I go straight with black, maybe? Yeah, I'll, I'll just go straight black. That way I can save the line art later. So that's the point four. Yep, we're starting off with the point four Sakura Pigma Sensei pen set. So not all the lines are going to connect at this focal point, but I want them to be in that general area. Because if I connect them, it's going to be too black in this part here. So chatters, if you like when I do art on stream, you can use your channel points so we can do art every day if you guys like. Because... With this channel, I know it's probably going to be game-focused, but we can do art sometimes. Okay, I have to make sure I don't press too hard with this pen. Because when you press too hard, you get a streaky stroke. I don't, I don't think it's going to focus. <laughs> oh, you guys can't tell, but this stroke right here is a bit streaky. Because I was pressing too hard. It's one of those things where I think it's good to work small. Like with these sketch card when you're testing out new art supplies. Because you need to learn how to use them. Also see how they work on different surfaces. Okay, so I have my base lines, my base lines down right now. Cause see how they all look like they're, like they all kind of connect to off the working plane, probably like about here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fill those lines in with the fine tip sharpie. Cause I feel like if I go in with the regular, I'm gonna mess it up. We're not gonna throw. That'd be bad. Also, chatters, when we do launch the art streams, the camera angles will be different. Because I'm instead of having, like, a close-up of my face like this, I think we'll just have, like, full POV of the corner of the room I'm working in. And then also, like, an overhead shot of me working on the desk. 
I wish I could be good at art. I feel like anybody can be decent. You just have to practice. As with any type of learned skill, the more you do it, the better you get at it. I say this all the time, but nobody's born Picasso, you know? So you just got practice, man. I think the thing that makes good art is like having intent behind every single artistic decision you make in your work. Like you can't just do something because it looks good. It has to be a reason why it looks good, right? Another reason why I didn't do these strokes with the regular Sharpie is that when you work with any type of felt brush pen, the size of your stroke varies by how you hold your pen, right? See how this, I use the full side and then this, I use mostly the tip of the pen. That's why like, I usually don't like using rulers because based on like how you hold your pen against the ruler, it can drastically change like the size of your stroke. Like I said, that's why I did the line work initially with a fine liner and then filling in with a larger fine liner instead of going straight with a larger tip pen. You never knew there are different types of Sharpies, really? I have a whole carousel. Because this was behind my TV for a year and I forgot about it. But I got ball points, I got regular brush pens. There's colored Sharpies in here. Where is it? Right here. These are all colored Sharpies. Because I used to be like, like, you know, it was like mandatory to have a planner in like junior and high school. I was really into like making my planner look somewhat cute. So I had a whole bunch of pens and such. The only thing I don't like about the new Sharpies is that the way the tip is designed, it's not a felt tip. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like plastic. So if you press too hard, it busts and then it splits. You know how um, if you store your paintbrushes brush side down, it kind of like, instead of being nice and pointy, it goes kind of like this? That's kind of what happens to your Sharpie tips over time. So you have to not press too hard when you're using them. Oh, you didn't know they have different type of pen tips, really? I think my favorite is... It's a discontinued fine liner sharpie pen i think it's called extra fine point and it doesn't have the plastic bristle it's not a ballpoint sharpie pen but it moves like a ballpoint pen but they're discontinued so in order to find them you gotta pay like top dollar Does anyone in chat do art themselves? Type one. <laughs> or tell me what type of art you do if you do art. If you're gonna get pens, I would recommend not getting the double tip pens, especially Sharpies. Because when you store pens, you usually store them like, what you call it? Like point side down. That way the ink falls to the bottom. But if you have a double pointed pen, when you store it, usually the end that's stored upwards will dry out faster than the other. So I recommend not getting double pointed Sharpie pens. Does music count? It's a form of art, but not what I'm looking for. <laughs> but what type of music do you make then, Betty? Is randomly getting the desire to scribble? <laughs> kind of. Because there's a concept called Zen Doodling. It's a, con it's a... It's more of a relaxation method than art. But it's basically where you fill a page. With different type of doodle shapes. But they're more like cohesive patterns. Like a common one you'll see is like the fish scale. Like this. Or you'll see... It's basically where you fill a page with doodles. You play bass? Oh, that's pretty cool. I had a friend who played bass in high school. K 
Okay, I'm debating if I want to do color on this piece. I think black and white would look interesting. <laughs> Way too based. <laughs> okay, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in each of these sections with like varying rectangle shapes. So first I'm going to go in with pencil and add guidelines. Now I'm making the distance about about a millimeter, if not like a little bit less than a millimeter. Why is your voice so relaxing? Really? Thank you. Can make an ASMR account. You know. I've had people say my voice is annoying and some people say my voice is nice. I think it just depends on like what I'm doing. Cause like right now I'm this is more of my natural voice. Like I'm not focused on how I'm speaking. Cause that if you're a regular video, you can you can probably tell like the differences in like my nuances and stuff. But I feel like ASMR still has like a negative connotation. I don't think I'd ever do it. Like, it might be a fun gag stream, but I don't want to be known as, like, an ASMR person. Because, like, people just instantly equate ASMR to, like, adult content. Which is unfortunate, because I know for a lot of people, ASMR is, like, more of a relaxation thing. But, Chatters, imagine if I had, like, a really good mic. Because I use a Blue Yeti. I just adjusted my input settings to make it sound a bit clear. I know, I know it's still not as clear as it could be, but, you know... I don't like having mics right up in my face. So. I think it's one, somewhat unprofessional to see a microphone in frame and also. I just don't. I don't, I just don't like things in my face. I think it's so intrusive. Yeah, some of some of our videos are sus. That's why they get a lot of bad rap still. Okay, so I added my guidelines. I mean, Blue Yeti is decent, but it's not like the best. Like, it's it's decent for its price point quality. Like, I haven't had a desire to get a new microphone yet. Okay, right now I'm drawing in, like, the rectangle lines. And I'm gonna freehand these lines when I draw them inside. With pen. Yeah, I feel like Blue Yeti was like the go-to microphone, but now that some more studio quality mics are one more accessible and also like somewhat affordable, a lot more people go with those. But I had a Blue Yeti before I started streaming because I wanted to try and record songs or like record voiceovers and try and do like, not voice acting, but just do like freelance voiceover work. That's why I initially bought my Blue Yeti. I think I bought it back in, like, 2019. Um, so I didn't have to buy a mic when I started streaming. I just had to buy a capture card for my camera. Because since I'm in art school, I have all my supplies. I mean, rather, it's part of my tuition, so I still paid for it ultimately. But since I'm doing online college, all of my supplies are, like, mailed to my home. So I have a drawing tablet, I got a camera, I have the laptop. So I didn't have to buy nearly as many supplies as other people just starting out streaming had to. 
But I still have to buy a lot of, like, hardware. Okay, so I have my guidelines drawn. Is the background music Breath of the Wild? Maybe? I don't know if this compilation has timestamps on it. Oh, it's Animal Crossing music. I know they're adding, like... It's a timestamp. 32... It says this is from Animal Crossing New Leaf. Okay, so I got my guidelines done. Let's go ahead and go in with our fine liner. <gasps> okay, now I gotta focus. Something you'll see me do is I'll rotate the paper instead of rotating my wrist because when you try and move your wrist in the wrong direction, it's going to hurt yourself over time and also you're not going to get as straight of a stroke. It also goes when you're cutting paper with scissors. It's a lot easier if you turn the paper instead of manipulating your wrist in weird ways. Just a little pro tip. Take notes. Sorry, I thought I did a line wrong, but it's fine. I'll just have to add an extra shape here. It's fine. That's an issue I have whenever I ink over pencil. I forget what lines are supposed to be there and what's your guidelines. For the art channel, do you guys want to do, like, a monthly draw-along stream? Or maybe bi-weekly? I think people would like that. And then people could post their work on, like, Twitter or Instagram. Because I'm one of those cliche where I'm good at teaching, but I'm not too good at executing, you know? That stroke went too far. It looks like a spider web effect. It does, now that you say it. That's the one thing I love about abstract art. Is since it's not explicitly like an image or a rendering, you can kind of see what you want to see, you know? Okay, I'm gonna have to cover up that line with white. I mean, you guys can't see it on cam, but I overshot that stroke.
abstract art is either very good or very overpriced squares. I agree to some extent, but I think the biggest appeal to any form of modern or abstract art, I say this every time I talk about abstract art, but the main thing that collectors like about any form of art is its, I guess, uniqueness and also its ability to be copied. Because if you think about it, those paint splatter pieces, yes, they're very, okay, not easy to make, but the process is a lot simpler than like a fully rendered portrait. It'd be very hard to copy that exact painting unless it was like a direct print. And a lot of thing with traditional art is that it's very hard to like color mix. It's very hard to get or emulate textures. Like there was this one painting. What was it? I'm not going to look it up. I, I don't know how to describe it. I was watching this mini doc on it. Um, it's essentially just this big blue canvas. And it sold for so much money. And the reason why it sold for so much is because it was very hard to emulate. Because since it was painted in like the mid-1900s, they didn't sell that type of paint anywhere. So they had to make the paint from scratch. And also it had this kind of like soft velvety. It also had this subtle like pigment to it that was metallic. So it was very hard for restorers to restore that painting. Um... It shouldn't be worth like 30 mil. That's another issue that happens in the art scene is since um, there's no like hourly wage, there's no like, I mean, price of the actual material is um, a part of the actual cost of the piece, but there's so much like money laundering, there's so much inflation. That That's the issue with the art scene, unfortunately. But that's just a part of it, you know? Because I think we're, I was talking about this with chat, because I was saying, like, you know, if I'm going to do art, I only want to sell originals. And they immediately understood that it have to be, like, at least one to two hundred, depending on, like, the size or, like, how long the piece took. Especially if it's an original where it can't necessarily be duplicated. A lot of money, money laundering happens to candy stores in London? Really? I need to look that up. I had no clue. I mean, Batty, you live in the UK, so you probably know about it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like any type of business could be for money laundering. Because, like, you know the cliche, like, oh, there's a mattress store on every, co on every corner. But you know they ain't selling mattresses every day. Everybody, subscribe to fix Max headache. Any primers? Oh, it's been a recent UK news, really? I'll have to look it up then. Because I don't follow a lot of international news. The only time I really hear about international policy is when, like, Hassan talks about it, unfortunately. I I'm, like, one of those people who's so American-centric because there's so much shit going on in America, so... Oxford Street candy stores. The entire street is full of candy stores that reduce trademark every year. Hmm. Kind of sus. See, like, I think about that, too, because in my town, in our downtown area, about a year ago, 
somebody opened a soap making shop. Like some of the most like LA, like basic white people shit type of store, right? It's a, it's always empty. And they just have tables with different stations for people to make soap. Isn't that fucking weird? It used to be a dance studio, but now it's a soap making shop. Like, what type of basic person is going to rent out a soap making shop? It seems so out of place. Because, like, the rest of our downtown is just restaurants. There's, like, a jewelry shop. Uh, uh, we have a lot of, like, antique shops in our town. But it's just weird. A soap making. That's the most gentrification thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I mean, we got a lot of white people here, so. There's only, there's, like, fucking, like, 85% white people in my town. It's wild. You know, like, 2% black people. It's crazy. Okay, anyway, I got my base shapes done. It does look like a spider web. Okay, where's my eraser now? Oh, no, I think I lost my eraser. It's not on the floor. Oh, shit. I think I want good eraser. I, I never play, put, it, put it black. Put it... I cannot talk. I'm having a stroke. I never put it back in the same place. Guys, am I DUM type 1? Oh, come on. Okay, nobody typed one. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can steal <laughs> what is DUM. <laughs> uh, it, it was, it's a phrase that me and my friends use because instead of saying dumb, we would say D-U-M. Because it, it was just funny to spell out shit. And also, it sounds less harsh than calling somebody dumb. Or stupid. So we would just be like, hey, you're D-U-M. <laughs> oh, I'm... No, dumb. <laughs> It's funny. It sounds like... Okay, I'm gonna grab... Um, there are three non-white families in your entire town. Fuck, man. I can't imagine that shit. Anyway, I'm gonna go see if I can steal an eraser from my sister. So, chatters... Everybody politely hold. If all my subs could politely spin while I go retrieve an eraser... Dude, where can it be? Wait, I found one! Never mind. I have a pencil top eraser that'll work for now. Okay. Never mind. I'm here. Nobody leave. I'm here. I'm not a chair streamer. I get so scared when I erase because since I have nail polish, there's been so many times where I'll, like, I'll streak the paper with my polish. It's devastating, actually. I agree, Kobobo. Uh, I love the soap baking TikToks as well. I like any type of crafting video on TikTok, honestly. I think it's so cool to see people make things. And that they enjoy making things. Looks like one of those office buildings that twists. Kind of. Okay, what should I do now? Gotta go. Okay. Well, thank you for hanging out today, buddy. It's a pleasure as always. Hope you rest well tonight, hon. Is this in a moat? <laughs> People buy. It's so sad. Look at it. be so sad. <laughs> People buy. Sag. <laughs> okay, I think I know what I want to do. So I think the shape I want to make is since I have like a base rectangle down, I kind of want to do that type of shape. Like a little, like it, it looks like a little like star shape inside. Because I initially was going to do something like this inside, but I feel like that's too basic. 
I think something like this would be a little bit more interesting. Okay, let's get to inking. I think I'm gonna I, I'm gonna have to do guidelines to make this look decent. Okay, more guidelines. This is taking longer than I thought. Oopsie. Okay, and the ones that are off. Okay, see how I'm drawing like off the canvas that way I can still see the shape. That way the lines aren't or that way the lines are still accurate. I think what a lot of my style of like abstract art is going to be it's going to be a lot of like alignment and pattern work because I think it's cool to see how patterns like relate to each other in the piece it's giving xbox logo uh oh uh oh <laughs> oh wait you're kind of right what does the xbox logo it looks like this right oh my god you're fucking right uh oh are they gonna sue me? Imagine. But also imagine how much clout I'd get. I get a lot of clout, right? But also, I have no influence anyway, so why would I even get in an article? I hate the whole argument that people will, like, do quote-unquote drama for clout. Like, yes, negative attention sometimes works, but it's so bad for your mental and long-term influence. Like, it's not worth, honestly. Okay, I have my next set of pencil guidelines down. Bah! Hey, yo. Xbox sponsors me, but I'm a Nintendo streamer. I feel like there'd be a contrast or conflict of interest, huh? Okay, let's get to inking. Well, these shapes are interesting. They kind of look like stitches. Like, you know, the cross hash stitches. <clears throat> cross hatch. Dude, I cannot talk. I think I'm just tired. Or maybe it's stress. Or maybe it's like everything all at once. Dude, I'm gonna be so excited if I'm able to get my disability. That'd be epic. Because when I called the Washington Help Services, they essentially said I can't get uh, a caseworker. Only, the only people who have disability that are eligible for caseworkers is if they need a caretaker. I was like, oh, okay. But I can still be eligible for like cash or food benefits. So that was a plus. So I hopefully we'll know by like within three weeks. Gulch. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I could be getting like 400 bucks a month. Isn't that crazy good? I'm excited. But if I don't get it, it'll be fine. I'll just have to farm more subs, am I right? It's, I can get, um, upwards of 400. So 
So, like, that would cover, like, my phone bill, possibly insurance for when I start driving. So, be better than nothing. But that's, like, the easiest form of compensation you can get approved for. Because based on what they told me, I essentially just have to prove that I can't work. So... Insurance is so pain. <laughs> Expensive pain. So, well, you know what? I'm on that good free state insurance because I have no income. So I'm still eligible for that. And thankfully, most of my... Or actually, all of my appointments have been covered. Because as long as you get a referral from your doctor, it's usually going to be covered by Apple or Washington State Medicaid. So that's a plus. Free state insurance? Yeah. Washington is pretty pog oh, Or pog I mean. That's why I say Washington is one of the better states, guys. I'm telling you. I, I had a good spawn point. My parents chose good. I know a lot of people shit on Inslee, but he's made a lot of good decisions concerning, like, human... So services and resources, so. Lamau spawn point. I mean, honestly, that's what affects a lot of your life. Unfortunately. That's why people have to be understanding of those who don't have as good of circumstances. It's not necessarily their fault all the time. Ooh, that directional hearing? Ooh. It's kind of nice. I wish I could live in Hawaii again, though. The community feels so much tighter there. Okay, the shapes are looking pretty cool. Let's get a close-up real quick. But that looks nice.
Okay. We have all our pen lines down for these kind of diamond shapes. It's a web. Oh, it's a vibe. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up real bad with that message, Mac. Okay, now we can start coloring in. Do be lucky, my can't wait. You can still see the desk shaping. I was like, be lucky, the camera's just shaking, but the desk is shaking, so it still looks like it's shaking. Nice try, Megan. Trying to gaslight everyone. Dude, chatters, if we can get that property, my life would be so much better, I swear to God. Because, like, we've been in talks with the owner, and they're totally fine with us making the garage into, like, a studio. They said that's A-OK. -okay. Wait, Chatters, did you know? Did you know that your landlord or your property owner can ban you from having firearms on their property? Did you know that? Because, like, since this would be my first time ever possibly, like, uh, filling out a lease, I'm looking at, like, all the different legislation concerning it. And a lot of... Because we were talking about gun control the other day. That's why I was thinking about it. It's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's, inter it's like a double-edged sword. Because um, it's not protected by the Second Amendment, right? Because private property precedes that. But... There hasn't been a case in which this has happened. Um, but, for example, if a landlord bans someone from having a firearm and there is an intruder, and let's say the intruder kills their whole family, the tenant can be like, hey, you know, my landlord didn't allow me to have guns and I could have defended my family. So there hasn't been a case like that that has happened. So therefore, there's been no policy. So essentially, what a lot of landlords do is that they don't necessarily ban guns outright because there's different um, states that allow landlords to ban it and some don't. But it, that's only in like a few states. You can look it up yourselves to see what states that this apply to. But what a lot of landlords do instead is in part of their lease agreement, um, they will state, you know, you can have a firearm, but it has to be kept out of common areas, like, i.e. in the living room. It can't be on display, like, on your wall. It has to be locked up in a safe. They can outline those specifics because, let's say, for example, they do ban firearms. It'd be somewhat of a similar policy to how landlords can ban pets. They would have to conduct frequent inspections of the property to ensure they don't have any hidden weapons. So... There's a lot of logistics to possibly banning people from having firearms in their property, too. I'd feel uncomfortable if people in your apartments had guns. There's gotta be people who do, though. Because, like, that's why I'm kind of scared about possibly living in an apartment in the future. Is because bullets can travel through walls. <laughs> um, so that's not fun to think about. Like, I can understand why people feel like they need to have a firearm, but generally for self-defense, it's not really going to protect you unless you're like a trained marksman or whatever. But, like I said, I was only really looking to this policy. Um, because I'm not going to say if we have or don't have any, because I don't want to self-report. But it was just something we were looking into. Because my dad, he was in the Navy, so he's trained. He knows how to use them. Is what I'll say. Because another thing that landlords have to take in consideration, they don't want to market themselves as like a gun-free community. Because it'd be a similar situation to, like, school zones to where if there's no guns, then it's going to be possibly more susceptible to people coming in. 
because they know there's no firearms on the premises. So like I said, there's a lot of like interesting dynamics I literally never had thought of because I just automatically assumed that the right to bear arms means you can have it in your home. It's interesting. So TLDR, make sure you read your lease agreement in full before you sign anything. I can't wait until I can move out. Me too, man. Me too. Because if I can secure that government assistance, I would cover majority of my rent. Because I make about... Okay, I can't say how much I make from Twitch. But I usually... I've been eligible for the Twitch minimum payout for the past... Almost six months. Wow. That's crazy. Thank you guys for all the support you give me. Um, so combined with my Twitch income and then that government assistance, I would easily cover my share of rent if my share was like 500 bucks, right? Well, I came around six months ago. I mean, I think Mac is one of our biggest oilers. Wait, Chatters! I totally forgot! Why did nobody tell me? Anybody know what time it is? The music is really fucking loud. It's time for me to run a few minutes of ads! Oh my god, I'm late, I'm late, I'm gonna get in trouble with Twitch. Um, you can avoid the ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad for viewing all month long. Or if you like gamers and Prime to your Twitch, you can hashtag sub for free with Prime. See if you got a Prime sub. Available, chatters. Um, anyway, after the ad, we're gonna finish the sketch card. Dude, I'm messing this up so much. Look at it. Sad. Anyway, go get a snack. Get some water. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Also, regular chatters. Does frame rate look a bit better? Does it look like there's less lag? Thoughts? Because I changed my frame rate today from 80 frames per second to 60. So does it look any different? Can you tell? I can't tell. I have no good eyes. We'll get glasses then, dumbass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mac likes being called mean things. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, I'm goofing and gaffing, I'm trolling. Twitch staff, I'm goo- I'm trolling. I must be different. Are you built differently?
What if we already have glasses? Then keep them on. Never take them off. <laughs> Didn't have to expose me like that. You're the one who said you don't have good eyes. I'm looking at your logs, Mac. You're, you're literally trying to gaslight me right now. Kind of rude. Mods ban Mac. One day, when I say mods ban so-and-so, it's not going to be a joke, so... Y'all better be good. <laughs> Mod check? I can't be banned. Okay, you know how people will ban chatters as a joke and then unban them immediately? When that happens, you automatically get put on essentially like a blacklist. Because you know how Twitch announced like, oh, you can share your banned user list with other streamers. So essentially, even if you get jokingly banned, you get put on that blacklist. So if you're a streamer, you shouldn't jokingly ban people anymore. Unless... <laughs> and even if you make an alt account to avoid a ban, they can still track your IP. So... Just behave wherever you are on Twitch. Like, it's not that hard. Like, genuinely. can get around that. No, don't self-report like that. Ban evasion is a bannable offense. They can terminate your accounts. So don't self-report. <laughs> sure, hon, sure. Oh, look at that. This looks pretty cool. I'm liking this a lot, surprisingly. I didn't think I'd like it, but I like it a lot. Chatters earlier, I was serious about whoever makes the best clips, I'll give VIP to. I was serious. Because people making clips during the live is a good way to grow your channel. So basically, if you're going to clip things during the stream, make sure you title it. If you don't title it, it doesn't count. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. Like, I'll publicly announce who gets the badge after I make the monthly comp. And then we'll redistribute it every month. You just have to make sure you title every single clip you make. Because what I've been seeing is people will clip but not title. Because new viewers will not click on a clip that's not titled well, essentially. So. Because I think it's good to reward the people who do 
want to clip stuff. Because chatters, if we can get a clip onto LSF, I know LSF is toxic, toxic as frick. But that's how some small streamers pop off. But they only get VIP for a month, yeah. Because we do the monthly compilation videos once a month, so it makes sense. Because I don't want to give people VIP for forever. Because I like the idea of giving it to people who are regularly engaged with stream. That's why for the Mario Kart tournaments, they only get it for a month. Like, the only people who get to keep their VIP badge for long term is if they're like a friend of the show. Because, like, I understand that viewers aren't going to watch forever. Like, that's totally fine. I just want to make sure people who have VIP are like regulars, you know? People who actually genuinely care about me or those things that I make. Because another reason why is you have to be careful who you do give VIP to. Because VIPs can still send links in chat. Because, like, you know how normal people can send links? There's no filter for VIPs to send links. So, I don't know if any chatter is going to, like, hate me one day and send, like, bad links in chat. So, that's why I ideally only want to give VIPs to people who are genuinely active. That's another reason why I don't have any moderators. One, because I want to make sure I can actually compensate them. Two, my chat nearly isn't as active to where I would justify needing a moderator just yet. And also, moderators have a lot of power. Like, I've heard horror stories of mods. Like, they gain the streamer's chat, and, or they gain the streamer's trust, and then they literally ban everybody crazy like the stories I've heard so I'm very like hesitant like I'm very careful But if chatters aren't going to clip the stream, make sure it's, like, a good moment. Ooh, I like this song. SM30 World. Okay, I think we're almost done, guys. We're filling in the final section, the final stretch. Why does Switch give mods so much power? There's two different levels of moderators. There's regular, and then channel editor. Channel editors get to unpublish your VOD. Um, they can also guide the raid. So they have a lot more power than a normal mod. But it's one of those things where it's up to the streamer's discretion who they give moderation to. So it's not necessarily Twitch's fault. Or responsibility, rather. Okay, anyway, I think this card is just about done, guys. Ooh, look at that. This looks cool. Thoughts, guys? Thoughts? I think it's cool. Wouldn't this be like a cool like shirt pattern? Hmm. I think it's pretty sick and rad. Type one if you think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so once again, thank you, Mac, for redeeming. I do a sketch card. I like doing art stream. Let's go ahead and sign this card. Which way is better? I'm trying to think of which way to face it. Because usually things go from left to right, right? And usually when things go from right to left, it's inherently, like, unsettling. If you look like film direction as well. And, like, your natural gaze goes from left to right. Like, if you look at books, you read left to right in America. I think left, opening from left to right is the way to go. today today's the 21st okay so chat stream is not over yet because we had mac gift a sub to the channel so that means we get to do calligraphy today so let me go ahead and get my pens Also, if we hit our sub goal of 80, then we'll do Splatoon 3 on stream. I also have a new sub goal stream idea. I think I want to do a stream ends when I beat Darker Side and Odyssey. I think that'd be a funny stream. I would get so fucking mad, though. I'll add that to the sub goal list whenever... I either fall off from 70, which is going to happen next month, or I'll just add it to the bottom of the list, maybe. Because the thing I have to consider is if the sub goal streams, I have to buy the game. <laughs> and I forgot, so I have to buy the Cult of the Lamb and Kirby this weekend. Or not this weekend, rather. Probably in a week. But I totally blanked on that. So chatters, I'll write your name if you donate to the channel or use your channel points. And I'll write your name for free. Also, chatters, don't worry. I have enough money to buy the games. You know, it's fine. Okay. Bye, Mac. We'll see you later, hon. Hope you have a good day. It's a pleasure as always hanging out with you. Once again, thank you for the gifted, Mac. Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Hope we're doing well today. Right now, we're thinking subs. Is Kirby stream next week? I have to look at my calendar. Probably not, because we're probably going to do Cult of the Lamb first. I will have to look again. Because just looking at... We're doing the Mario Kart Tournament on the 25th Sunday. And then potential bonus sub-only bug off on Saturday, the 24th. And then Saturday, October 1st, we're doing Follower Calligraphy. So we can maybe do Cult of the Lamb... Or Kirby on the second. I might switch him up because I know Kobo was excited for Kirby. And then the eighth and ninth, I'm free. So you might do either Saturday, eighth or ninth, Cult of the Lamb, and then maybe Sunday the second will be Kirby. Maybe. Any games I'm looking forward to? Ooh, no. <laughs> no, I'm not the type of person to like. Look at game news or anything. I, I only focus on games when they actually come out, you know? I got a busy schedule, yeah. And especially if we're going to launch the art channel soon, too. Like I said, I think we'll do art streams on Fridays in October. Because I think I'm going to get my canvases in the mail. I think this upcoming Tuesday, so in about a week. So it's going to be a leather loaded month.
Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> Not really. I mean, is that game going to be any good? Why do you think Meg Esports was once a month before? Oh, fuck, you're right. What are we going to do for this next month's Meg Esports? Frick. Less problem for Jake Rowling is good? Exactly. I'm going to spread so much Harry Potter hate. That way they'll sell no video games. <laughs> it's looking good for the most recent trailer. I don't know. I've never been a Sonic fan, so I don't have like the nostalgia or anything. I think it's like, it looks fun to play, but only for like an hour max is the way I'm kind of seeing it. I'm sorry, I have to buy Hogwarts Legacy. Just, just don't tell anybody you buy it. You don't tell anybody you bought it. You know, don't self-report. All the Twitter kids will hate you. Okay, so we had Mac, give the tier one to chat. Once again, thank you, Mac. You're holding on to your number two leaderboard spot. Once again, thank you. So, chatters, this was our last name of the day. So, if you want me to write your name, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel. Let's go. seeing that I was thinking about adding Harvest Moon to our game roster at some point because I've had other people ask for me to play it too okay I'm putting my pins away chatters last call because like I don't think I want to do any like super long story games on stream I think the max amount of game hours I want for a story game is like five hours that way we can crank it out in one day Okay, let's fix our cam. I hate this freaking tripod. Come on. Hey, yo. Oh, come on, dude. Just please, please work with me. Work with me. Hey, yo, I got it. I I think I need to like literally duct tape it. Okay, there we go. Camera's fixed. Um, so Chaz. Losing my mind. <laughs> I might have to slip up, switch out the tripods, maybe. Hmm. Anyway, anyway. Chatters, once again, thank you to everybody who watched the stream. Any chatter suckers, I appreciate you guys. Next week, I'll get a crown and fall, guys. I promise. I promise. I say this every week, but I promise next week I will. Um. Yeah, thank you to everybody for hanging out today. We played Fall Guys, we did Be Laugh, Be Lose, and we made this super cool sketch card that's added to our collection. Yeah, I agree. September has flown by. It's kind of wild, isn't it? Uh, nobody's live right now, so no raid. Big Sag. But, Chatters, I will be live again tomorrow. 11 a.m. Peace Team, the SMU Deluxe. And then, just a reminder, we are doing the Meg Esports tournament on this Sunday. So if you want a chance to get a new VIP, all you gotta do is join the Mario Kart lobby. Open from 11 to 12, you get top three, you get VIP. Kinda cool. And next time is always the one. Exactly. You got it. 
So before I go, before I go, I would like everybody to politely please go follow my second art channel. Like I said, this is going to be launching in early October, so go follow right now. That way we have viewers in the first year. That would be pretty proud of you. So go follow it. It's free to follow. Cost you nothing. Just your time. And last thing, if you're a real one, go follow my offline social medias. I mean Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow right now. <laughs> I'm going to flop Mario Kart. You know, I think banana mode is going to be fairly difficult because you can... People will... It's going to be hard to avoid. So you just got to place bananas in hard to avoid places and you can screw over the actual sweats. Hmm. So, I think it'll go fine. I think this month will be interesting because of the banana mechanic. But, I think that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Okay. Bye.